I were to ask you what the final words that Jesus spoke before he ascended into heaven would be, what do you think they'd be? Let's talk about it in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. If you're like most people, if you thought about for a little bit, you would probably say it's that last two verses in the book of Matthew where Jesus says to go. Listen to this, Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. And then it goes on to finish that uh, verse. You'd think go, but it's not go. The last words that Jesus said was to wait. Listen to this, when the uh, disciples were there as Jesus ascended into heaven, his last words are found in that last chapter of Luke. And listen, listen to what he says. It says, behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you're endued with power from on high. That word tarry may be my favorite word in the Bible for some reason. The meaning of the word tarry is to wait. Jesus did not tell his disciples to go. He told them to wait. It's interesting that in the first chapter of Acts, listen to the fourth and fifth verse. It's repeated here. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise. The promise of the Father, which he said, you've heard from me, for John truly baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit comes back to the importance of the Holy Spirit. Why would Jesus say wait instead of go? Well, the reality is it would have done them no good to go if they didn't wait for the Holy Spirit. Their ministry would have been so ineffective without that Holy Spirit that they needed, without that power which gave them wisdom, understanding of the word, confidence, the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, all those things took place because they waited for the Holy Spirit to come upon them. So what about you this morning? I would encourage you to wait before you go today. You can go and be an incredible blessing to this world, but wait for a minute and allow the Holy Spirit to refresh you, to renew you, to empower you this morning to be that servant that God wants you to be. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration. And we'll see you next time.